Hi, welcome back to my channel and this is Bobby Lee. So today we're going to go over computerized sewing machines, the parts, setting it up, threading your machine. It's going to be a really quick video, so I'll see you after the break. So starting with the parts of the sewing machine, we have the hand wheel for taking needle up and down, LCD screen to see your stitches and functions, a keypad to input your stitches and functions, quick select buttons, speed slider make the machine go faster or slower, automatic thread cutter, needle up and down function your needle can stay up or down when you sew reverse button start and stop button you have your thread guides here your tension discs are behind this underneath here automatic needle threader you have your presser foot and your needle under here and also your bobbin. I'll zoom in closer. But first, this is your accessory tray. You remove that and you, the machine has a free arm function which makes the bed a little smaller. This also has some storage when you open it. You can put your small tools in there and that slides back. You have your foot pedal which should be on the floor. This is your next space or third space. It's not very high on this machine, about six inches. That's the arm of the machine. This is the bed of the machine. It's a rather low space. The machine is also portable and that's why it has a handle. Now, as we get closer here, we have the needle. We have the presser foot which is detachable. These are called snap-on presser feet. You can buy different ones and you can change them based on the function you need. You have your feed dogs. That's what moves the fabric. This is your bobbin. Uh, now, this is what they call a top loading bobbin because it's on top and if I bring it out you can see it's transparent. The cover is also transparent so you can actually see how much thread you have left. And this is the needle plate. On the side here you have your stitch guidelines. I'll explain that in another video. We have our bobbin winder upper thread spool. We have room here for another upper thread spool so you can sew with two threads at the same time. These are all thread guides to pass your thread through and the stitches the machine can do. You have your presser foot lever here. That's what takes the presser foot up and down. You have your hand wheel, on off button. You have your socket and plug for your foot pedal. Now, winding the bobbin thread. That's your bobbin, that's your upper thread. First, the bobbin has two little holes that you can use to attach your thread. We'll put that on the spool. Place the upper thread on its own spool. And secure it with a cap. The thread should come from underneath Pass it around the relevant thread guides, around just like that. Now you can either wind the thread around the bobbin or you can pass it through one of those little holes to secure the thread. Now, when you put the thread back, just hold it, push it to engage, 
wind it just a little bit, snip the excess, and continue stepping your presser foot and wind the rest. When you're done, snip the thread, pull it out to disengage, and that's your bobbin ready for use. Now the bobbin thread should come out through the left side like a letter P. That's how it goes into the bobbin case. Just remember P for perfect. You just have to drop it in. Mine has a little groove that I have to pass it on to and that's all there is. Just leave a little like four inches out and you're ready. Next we'll, act, we'll thread the actual machine. Once again, put your upper thread back onto the spool, place the cover to secure it, the thread should come from underneath. Pass it through the relevant thread guides, follow the arrows. Mine goes towards the left, it comes down, around and up, around and down to the needle. This needle threads from the front to the back. This machine has an automatic threading function, but I'll just thread it manually as not all machines come with this function. So we have the thread, just pull it to the back of the machine and it also helps to put the thread under the presser foot. You get into the habit of this so that it doesn't tangle into your work when you're sewing. Now we're going to bring up the bobbin thread. Just turn your hand wheel towards yourself till the needle goes down and comes back up. You might have to do it twice but it should come up with the bobbin thread as you can see underneath. Just pull out your bobbin thread. It should flow freely. If it's stuck in any way, something must be wrong and you might have to put your bobbin back again. And that's all there is to it. You push both threads to the back of the machine and you're ready to sew. So that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Next week we are going to do the vintage style sewing machine and the industrial sewing machine because they are very similar. So please subscribe, like, and share, and you can also visit the website for even more detailed information. Thank you.